why am I not making sugar dating content anymore? I had somebody reach out to me, a subscriber reach out to me at chanceberryman.com. So if y'all have anything, if you want me to critique your dating profile, if you want to show me your dating profile, send me screenshots of the pictures, things like that, and help, if you want my help with increasing your matches and conversations and dates, go fill out the form at chanceberryman.com and it's free for a limited time. I want to meet y'all. I want to talk to you. I want to help you out with your problems. But I had somebody reach out to me on chanceberryman.com and say, well, why am I not making sugar dating content anymore? And that he felt that he is owed an explanation as to why I have changed my approach, the things that I've talked about on dating apps. Because previously before, I've talked about this before, I was very negative about dating apps. Because I mean, it is, a, it is a lot of all the same problems that all of us watching this understand about dating apps. And please hit the like button. If you like this content, if you appreciate the types of videos that I make, go ahead and hit the like button. So all the things I have said about dating apps are still true. It is still pretty time consuming. It can be time consuming. It can be frustrating. It can take a lot of patience to use dating apps. So why am I on dating apps now? Here's the thing. I just came in the door from a date with a woman from a dating app or a vibe check, right? The first time you meet somebody off of a dating app, it's not really a date. It's a vibe check. I just walked in the door from a vibe check. We met at a coffee shop downtown Salt Lake City. Uh, I had a tea. She got like a latte. We had like a we shared like a little snack, like a piece of pie or something. Sat on the patio, chatted. People watched. Had a good time, right? Um, I just came in the door from that. So my point is the I guess the point of why I stopped sugar dating. I'll answer that question. I stopped sugar dating temporarily. I'm pretty sure at some point in my life. I'm 100% sure at some previous or some subsequent point in my life, I will probably go on a sugar dating site again. It's very easy. I know how to do it. I've actually made dozens of videos about how to do it for y'all. I'm so good at it. I made videos about it on YouTube. Uh, right now, I'm not sugar dating because I wanted to bring women into my life where there wasn't a transactional component in our relationship. I just want to meet some women have some casual you know, relationships, or it could get more serious if we want. But I wanted to bring some women into my life where there wasn't a financial component involved. That's it. I personally, me personally, wanted to bring some women into my life where the relationship wasn't based on exchanging resources, just like straight up like that. If you still want to do it, that's fine. I respect that. It's fine. I'm right now, I'm not making content about it. That's the answer to the question. I'm at this point in my life, I'm not sugar dating. I'm not making content about sugar dating. Number two, I feel better about telling guys, hey, you know what? If you, there's some things you could tweak, some things you could change. I'm not telling you that you have to change your entire life. I'm not telling that, telling you that you have to get ripped eight pack abs. I don't have eight pack abs. I barely have a little silly four pack, but I'm not telling you that you have to be some ripped Greek God or change your entire lifestyle or whatever to get women. What I'm saying is there's probably a way, there is probably a way that you can enhance your experiences and get more matches, get more conversations, get more dates with dating apps if you want. So that's what I'm doing right now. So that's what I'm talking about. Like I said, I just walked in the door from meeting up with a woman from dating apps. This woman happened to be 25 years old. It's not a big deal to me because I don't care. But she just so happened to be 25. Very lovely person and a nice girl. I, I probably would see her again. If she wanted to hang out again, I probably would see her again. So I realized that I didn't need to sugar date to meet attractive women. Listen, it takes way longer. It takes way, way longer for me personally and probably a lot of guys watching this to meet up with women from dating apps than sugar dating. But here's the thing. Sugar dating is not necessarily a slam dunk either. This is the other thing too. Sugar dating for me and my experience and with men that I have coached is not like you just go take your money slide it into the vending machine and then a hot girl falls out of the bottom. You have to message women that don't message you back on sugar dating apps. You have to, you get ghosted sometimes you get flaked on. You'll see, you'll go on a date or a meeting with a woman from a sugar dating site, have a great time and never see her again. That has happened to me. It's happened to my clients. I talk to guys all the time who say, oh yeah, we met up. We had maybe a couple of good weeks together. And then she flaked out. I've had guys have sugar babies steal from them or try to steal from them, try to finesse them, right? It's not necessarily like just because you're sugar dating that it's 100% an amazing time, you're still dealing with another human being. Here's the point. Since you still have to deal with another human being, why don't you just learn how to get better at dealing with other human beings? So 
So that's all I'm going to say. This could be a short video. This person asked me, and listen, I appreciate the comment. I appreciate you filling out my form and, and reaching me on chanceberryman.com. I want to talk to y'all. I want to help you. I want to understand like what your challenges are and what y'all like, what your mindsets are. It's not fun just to have a one way conversation. Like I make these videos to interact with people that watch the video. So it's, I appreciate the comment. I appreciate the message on uh, chanceberryman.com. But to answer your question, I'm not sugar dating right now, so that's why I'm not making sugar dating videos. To answer to something else that he said in the in the message, it's not my opinion on dating apps didn't actually change. I do it is frustrating. It can be very frustrating. It takes a lot of patience and persistence. If you get if you feel frustrated with dating apps and you're not getting the messages, the matches that you want, the likes that you want, I suggest just putting it down. Just you can delete it off your phone. You can just kind of like not look at it for like a week or two. I find that when I'm on dating apps, if I feel frustrated. I'm not getting like the kind of matches that I want. Things aren't going my way. I'll just delete the app, leave your profile up, and just delete the app for like two weeks. When you come back to it in two weeks, you'll be like, oh, here you go. And if you leave your profile active, you'll have matches when you come back, or at least I do. So I'll delete the profile. I'll delete the app off my phone for a week or two. And when I come back to it, I'll usually have some matches in there. Some of them will be pretty interesting. I'll hit those women up. Um, it takes longer than you think. That's on the banner of my channel. It's going to take longer than you think. It's harder than you think. It takes more time than you think. Uh, in my opinion, if things work out the way that I want, I'm able to bring these women into my life that I'm like interested in meeting, it'll be worth it. That's it. All right, that's all I got. The ironic thing, too, in closing is that I had somebody message me last week asking me why am I making sugar dating videos. I had an old, a longtime subscriber of my channel message me, or actually she left comments on one of my videos and was asking me, why are you making sugar dating videos? This sucks. Da, 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 da. I want you to go back to making your old content. So it's like you can never please anybody, right? I'm making sugar dating videos. Some people didn't like that. Some people did. I'm talking about dating apps right now. Some people like that. Some people don't. My mission right now is to help guys get connected with women. I feel like that's a better and more fulfilling and more honorable mission to help guys from 35 to 45 build a life that you're excited about, that you're, where you feel good about yourself, you're proud of, your, of yourself, you have a ton of confidence and self-respect, and then talk about strategies to showcase that on dating apps so you can attract the kind of women that you want. This is what I'm doing right now with my life. I think it's a fantastic mission. I'm very proud of, I'm, I'm proud of myself for trying to help guys out. I feel good about it. I feel honorable about it, and that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so hey, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or if you don't want to hear about like dating apps and stuff like that, and if the channel is not for you anymore. It's okay. Unsubscribe, but still hit the like button. And I'm going to be making more videos about helping guys. Like I said, guys in this little sweet spot age range, make good dating app profiles, attract women, go on some dates, get connected. I feel like that we all just need more like connection and acceptance and love in our lives. You know what I'm saying? I feel like just like the deep desire is to have somebody know you and accept you and care about you and love you for who you are. And I want to help myself achieve that. I want to help people that watch my channel achieve that. I want to help people that have never even heard of me yet achieve that. And that's what I'm doing right now with my life. So I wish you guys success on your mission. If this is where we part ways, I totally respect it. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your night. I'm going to have a good night. I'm going to sleep. I got to work in the morning. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel or not. Or unsubscribe if we're not on the same wave anymore. That's cool. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.